Hello, welcome to my new channel, GMG Connected. Uh, over the course of my life I have accumulated a number of different hobbies, uh, the most recent of which has uh, become the, a slot car uh, and the slot car racing. Um, as some of you know, there are a different number of manufacturers for these vehicles. Um, however, the one that I uh, like the most is definitely uh, Carrera. Um, they have a lot of detail um, and they are very well designed, very well engineered and they are uh, reasonably priced, at least in my opinion. Uh, probably we can talk about the differences in a different uh, with another uh, manufacturers like Excalexers and Inco in a different video. Uh, but for now we're gonna just uh, discuss about these two cars. So uh, I personally I never expected to have the same vehicle in two different sizes. I normally like to have a different variety um, of cars uh, but I ended up having these two because I was going for the 124s which are larger um, but I, I didn't have the proper um, uh, track accessories to run it, so I ended up buying these, and then later on had this one as well. So let's have a look more in detail, just very quickly to see the details. I really don't find a lot of um, YouTube videos that walk through these cars uh, in that day detail so I thought I might as well just go for it right so um, each and every car will come uh, with its, its own base and they have its own acrylic on top so you can store them right and getting all the dust away so that way you only have to clean the dust from the top so this is very neat for some reason I really like um, scale models that come with this. This is very neat, at least in my opinion. And they all include uh, some documentation, plus um, this is a little bit hard, and some uh, replacements, so you can replace the mirrors if you lose them, and also uh, the brake pads. So, let me just take it out. You just Isn't it? And we can see it. These little guys they come in place. They have magnets here, and they also have a magnet right here. And removing the screw is actually a little bit more complicated for some reason in the 132s because this is metal right but the hole in here is plastic so it actually takes a little bit more effort than you would expect uh, to put it on all the way through it gets uh, very hard very quickly if that's what she said right uh, let's go for the other one so right off the bat, they are actually very, very, very similar. Correct. They also come with the same instructions. They usually have... Oh, what happened to this guy? They usually have replacement for the mirrors. And it's actually not that big deal if they go loose, because normally you just put it back in right they don't necessarily break they just fell off and um, but in the situation that you lose it you can just get your replacements from the back so now let me show you um this is way easier way way easier because it has a metal where this thing screws so it's definitely if 
faster to put on and on. So now we have them. And I was actually very intrigued uh, to find out if there were any differences. You know, definitely the larger car will have more space for more details. But spoiler alert, they are actually exactly the same. They have the exact same um, level of detail. As you can see, they're the same stickers and everything. It's like if they have designed uh, the cat model for these guys and then just made it bigger. However, even though the model of the livery is um, same, they, they have substantial differences. The most noticeable, aside from the size, is this little piece, right? It's just so they can keep a good connection with the track, even if it goes a little bit too high, right? Another piece, another difference is that these cars, you need to service them quite frequently. You need to clean the tires, you need to lubricate the axles, they need to spin quite freely, right, in order to have a proper um, performance. Here we can see a toggle switch. This is if you want to run them in one way and then you can toggle it so you can run it in the other way. They also have this LED because these are digital and this LED is the one that um, tells the system, if you can see here, it tells the system that the car has completed one lap, right? But if we go ahead and disassemble these guys, it takes roughly half a minute to maybe even less. So, you see it from the inside, let me just take my little screws, Oop. you can see here the inside, and this is one of the things I like a lot from Carrera, that they have brass in here, so the tires can spin freely in Escalexers, they have plastic right there. So this is very neat. This is the digital chip, motor, and the lights, of course. So let me just go ahead and disassemble the other one. We don't want to fall off. So these also have the same toggle switch from one direction and the other, and the same way to communicate. And by the way, uh, they do require oops, they do require a different um, uh, power adapter because these uh, big guys are 18 volts. The other ones are around 14. So. Let's, let's see. Looks like I didn't quite remove this completely. There you go. The inside. Let me just make sure I don't lose this. There's another one. So already you can see one of the key differences is the motor placement. Um, for the smaller cars, they have inline motor, and for these big guys, 
they have it uh, sidewinder um, it's actually a larger motor as well but they do also have same uh, lighting and then let me go back to this so as you can see very very similar but what one of the neat features for the larger ones is that they have a brass um, connector piece for the screws where this one is just plastic so to start with these are gonna last longer than these guys because they would be harder um, for the screw to go bath inside of them and that's why you're paying a little bit more right for all of those neat features so in the scenario of the smaller ones some of them would have a, um, a non-digital right they are around 30 35 US dollars these ones are around 45 to 50 dollars um, but I will even if you have an analog track I will totally recommend you to get the digital one because the only the chip is going to cost you around 30 dollars and you don't have the lights so you will have to do some retrofitting um, you will have to go to micro center or something and buy your own LEDs and do some soldering because um, there is no way to get this from aftermarket I mean not specifically designed for the car right um, so um, let me just assemble them back and we will look at the lighting as well So I have a piece of track right here. Just gonna turn it on. Hmm, apparently, I put it on the wrong side. You see, this guy wants to go. Here you can see the lining this is actually even though it's a um, white LED it has some um, yellowish um, transparent plastic on the top that's why it looks a little bit yellowish and a little bit green because the actual card looks like this from the back have your linings you can actually uh, toggle the lights on and off from the controller and when you um, stop accelerating even if your lights are off you will see the brake light uh, go on and as I, as I said these pieces these Carrera cars are actually designed to fall apart in the situation that they will um, crash uh, but you can just put it back in no problem okay so this is my review for these two cars um, in the next video I'm gonna put them in the truck and let me know if you have any comments or any suggestions in the comments uh, thank you